Now, if you've ever visited Dunham Massey Hall, and I'm sure you may have done on several occasions, have you ever thought of just climbing over the small stile and heading south towards the village of Little Bollington? No surprise that Little Bollington is surrounded by beautiful countryside just close to the Dunham Massey estate, but back in the 1980s an excavation was carried out at nearby Fairy Brow where a Bronze Age cremation was found, including a Bronze Age Tang Dagger. brisk five minute walk down this country lane cutting through the two fields. This will take us quickly to Little Bollington and we can see for ourselves the beautiful village in all of its splendour. Dunham Massey to the northeast of us, we enter the village of Little Bollington, and the first thing we come across is the old corn mill, built in 1860. Now the reason that the mill was built in 1860 was to take the pressure off the mill in Dunham Massey itself, allowing the mill in the park to be changed into a sawmill. Back in the early 1970s the mill fell into disrepair and as you can see from behind me it has since been converted into living apartments. Now after passing the mill we have to cross the River Bollin, the river that feeds the mill. The only way to cross the Bollin to get into the little Bollington village is over a wide bridge over a stretch of the river. By the time of the Doomsday Survey in 1086, Little Bollington had become in control under the Saxons, with Thane Ethelward placed there by Hammond de Massey, the Hammond de Massey that later became Dunham Massey. An important part of every Saxon village was of course the alehouses, the places where people could meet and discuss the issues of the day. However, in 965, the king decreed that each village should have no more than one alehouse each. Little Bollington is no exception to the rule of a pub in a village, and the swan with tunics has stood here and served the people of the village for hundreds of years. From the medieval period right through until the 20th century, the whole of the village was owned by the Earls of Stamford and the Earls of Warrington. Indeed, every house was numbered and marked on the estate maps. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief insight into the village of Little Bollington here in Cheshire near Dunham Massey. Next time you visit Dunham Massey, why not pop down the road and take a look for yourself?